Hey guys, welcome back. It's Carter with Bitsby Trippin'. This video is a mobile video. It's about this setup I had posted on Twitter from when I am out of town. I do, we do a lot of different out of town activities. I do a lot of consulting work. And sometimes I need to be editing. I need to do a lot of different things on the computer, but one, even two screens, not enough. And what I wanted to bring to you guys today is how quick and easy this setup is to set up and use, and it's extremely mobile. Very lightweight screens, 2560 by 1600 resolution. And as you can see, I come around here, you guys can kind of see the setup. I gotta string this laptop. It has two power bricks there. So I had to go over there, but you can see the setup here. So obviously these things move around. You can tilt them. You can get them the way you want them. It, uh, you can bring them up. You can see the capability here. You can slide both of those up and they'll be up out of the way. Technically, you could probably could probably put, they have, they do a three version of this where you have another one here. But, you know, if you bring this down, it's got a very interesting tension, tension setup. So like it stays, it's, it's a very tight kind of tension bar setup. And here you can see I lifted this up out of this laptop's so way. I have to move that there oh, and tilts that way too but to bring that back down. And then wherever I set it, there's uh, tension settings here that you use these to like do a plus and a minus to kind of set that up. There's a little bar that it gives you, uh, Allen wrench as it were, to kind of set this up. So what's this whole thing, you know, how's this hooked up to the laptop? Let's just go there. So I have a USB-C and I'll have links below in the description for all this stuff. This whole setup is less than 400 bucks. So. The screens are about 180 bucks, $160 if you can get discounts. And then, you know, the wires are, you know, 10, 15 bucks. And then this guy was right there at $60. So you can see this setup here of how it puts together. There was hardly any assembly. Essentially, I just had to screw these two things on. They give you all the tools with this setup. And you can see the way it's tension set. So these kind of slide up based on the table that you're putting it on to give you a little bit of range. And then once those are up, you just kind of screw those things on for your tension. There is two of them to really make this base stay in place. And then you can see these kind of pivot out. This is the Alienware 10900K. This is an older laptop, but this right here is 17 inches. So this gives you a perspective of like just how much extra room you have. And again, these bars are not all the way out. So if you had a little bigger setup, if you had the 18.4, you'd still work with it. But by and large, as easy as this thing is, it's unbelievable. And one thing I wanted to tell you guys about is what I had to do here because the the connectors that come for this for the these amount, why everything lines up perfectly, they did not provide the 10 millimeter that's required. So I had to go get these little spacer and the washer here and the 10 millimeter thing here. And what I'm gonna bring you over here, I went over to Home Depot and I'm gonna show exactly what I got. So if you were to click the links down there and buy this setup, you know that you're gonna to have to get your 10 millimeter pieces and the nylon washer, you can see 8 30 seconds is what I use there. And then on this particular is 5 16 So the 5 16 allows you to have, to cover kind of the hole there. And then the 8 30 seconds is this guy which is perfectly set up for the 10 millimeter screw to go through. And then the 10 millimeter screw, I got some extras here for you guys can see in relation to like, like a finger. That's, it's essentially finger thickness and length. And then that goes into there. And then it goes into the washer, which then holds up perfect there. So again, this was a kind of a do it yourself because I was out and about and just didn't have any supplies with me. So I had to order, you know, I had to go to a store to pick up those. All that, all of the, the extra screws and I bought extras was 15 bucks. So it's an additional 15 bucks, but it gets you where you need to be. The screens come with three different cables. So it comes with a USB-C. It comes with, um, I grabbed the extra USB-C when I had there, uh, HDMI to mini. And then it also has, let's come over here. It had one more cable that I'm not showing. It had USB-C to the, um, actually it just came with two USB-Cs. One for power, one for video. Now, if you have a power and a video cable, cause I bought my own, I didn't realize that it came with its own cables. 
Um, I bought my own, so I'm using that one. It has power. This is getting both the power and the video on this. But on this screen, I'm using an HDMI mini because, again, I bought my own cable, the 4K mini HDMI to, you can see this HDMI here, normal full-size HDMI setup. And then I'm using the power to just this little smart power charger that I use to charge my iPhone on and it's plugged into here. So it gives it enough power to power this because the HDMI doesn't have the power uh, to start the screen. So it's using USB-C power and HDMI on this screen. It's using just USB-C on this. So in most typical laptops have both the HDMI and a USB-C. So that gives you the ability to do two screens like this. So, and then you just do them as extensions. You know, you're just extending display on the right and the left. And that's your setup, my dude. So, I mean, you could do gaming, you could do just multi-screen here. And again, it's just a mobile setup. This is not our normal typical videos. Usually we're talking about cryptocurrency stuff, but this enables me to continue to work when I'm on the road to bring you guys some of the latest cryptocurrency stuff. So hopefully you guys like this kind of video, like and subscribe below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.